hey guys <laughs> that was the weirdest thing i've ever done i don't know why i started my video like that um but hey what's up i before i get into this vlog i just wanted to take a few minutes to talk to you guys about fabletics i've talked about them multiple times before they are a really cute and trendy store where you can get workout clothes i personally love them because their stuff is super affordable and they have this really cool offer that if you sign up for their vip membership you get two pairs of leggings for 24 dollars, which is so crazy because normally leggings are like 90 dollars, like something kind of expensive crazy um but this is super affordable and especially if you are in college i know it's hard it gets hard but this is good for you also another cool thing about the vip membership is that you get 50 percent off the whole entire website so everything on there will be half off for you and you get free shipping and it's so good um also when you are on their website and you just first sign up you can take this style quiz don't forget to put your email in the style quiz though because when you they send you all these different discounts every single month which is good but the style quiz kind of just shows you what you'll need depending on the type of workouts that you like to do and everything but my favorite thing ever that i'm so excited to tell you guys about is that they came back with my favorite leggings they are the ones with all the pockets and zippers everywhere. I'm actually wearing them right now because I'm going to go work out soon. But I really, 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 really like these leggings a lot. I'll show you guys them on and I'll show you guys um, the rest of the outfits that I got. And yeah, let me do that real quick. Don't mind my tripod, but this first outfit doesn't actually come together. I'll show you the pants that the white top comes with. But these are the pants that are my favorite. They are the Power hold pants i'm holding the shirt that they come with but they have the pockets everywhere there's a zipper pocket on the side right here which is so convenient and then this one over here just like a little mesh one um anyway and then this tank top doesn't go with it it actually comes with this tank top but this is also one of my favorite style of tank tops it's like a twisty style and it has a band on the bottom super cute and it looks so good and if you want to wear it with this obviously they go together but yeah, I just really like this white one. But the white tank top actually goes with these pants, which I really love the material of these pants. It's different. And a lot of Fabletic stuff is coming out in this material, which I really enjoy. It's so good. I love wearing it to SLT, one of my favorite workouts to wear it to, or like a core power or something, like yoga, something like that. But um, it's super soft and very breathable when you wear it. This one also has these cool little patterns in it. And then this outfit right here, which is my other favorite. I first I'm showing you the sports bra. It is so cute. So this bra comes down a little bit more than a normal sports bra, which I love. You guys know that's my favorite style. This pattern, second of all, is so cute. And then the back of it looks like this. The straps are adjustable. This sports bra material is the same as those blue pants that I just showed you. And this is obviously, like I said, one of my favorite materials of workout clothes. I can't wait to wear this one to SLT next class. But yeah, so cute. And let me show you the pants. These are the pants. They are just so cute. Again, with the same detail, except it's a solid color on the top. And then it goes into that detail, which I really like. I think that's so cute. And it looks really nice on. These pants are perfect. They aren't like too tight so when you wear them they're just like form-fitting and nice and then the next set i'm going to show you guys is this one so this one's a little bit more of like a impact workout set just like the pants that i'm actually wearing right now um but this sports bra is so cute just purple and blue and then it has all the straps in the back again they're just adjustable to your liking and has these little like mesh cutouts on the sides which i thought were so cute and then these pants are so fun so these ones are a little bit more of an impact pant so they hold you in a little bit better they're just the normal power hold pants by fabletics and then they have the pockets on the side that are mesh but not the zipper pockets. So you, if you don't like the zipper style, cause sometimes I do understand it does like dig into your leg if you're laying down, but it actually, for me, it doesn't happen. But I know that my mom doesn't like pants that have zippers. So if you're like that, you can wear just these pants with the little pockets and no zippers. Anyway, I thought that these colors were just so fun. And yeah. Hey, oh, it's so unfocused. Oh God, um, that way. Okay. <laughs> What should I say? Should we just pick him up? Pause, beat him. 
Hi guys, I'm with Ella now. Um, freezing. We're waiting for our friend Peyton because we're driving Peyton. Also, we got energy drinks. Cause I, I, I want to drink coffee right now. Pick them up. Okay, these are Celsius energy drinks. Um, I saw Claudia Saluski. I actually really like her videos right now, and I saw her drinking one of these, and she was talking about how it doesn't have any like of that citric, gross, yucky Acid. stuff in it. Yeah, like, oh, nope, it has, to, never mind, it has <laughs> citric acid in it. No, My but she was saying, these. she was saying, like, listen, it's carbonated, filtered water, citric acid, I don't know what that is, vegetable juice, I don't know why, for, oh, for color, oh. Okay, This one's natural flavor. Which one did you get, watermelon? watermelon. Mine's it tastes kiwi like guava. I just drink like a watermelon Arizona. Really sweet. Really? Yeah. Sour Patch Watermelon. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I just inhaled a whole pack of it. It was one <laughs> sip. Well, looks like you're gonna be buzzing. Um, but yeah, and we have to drive to New Hampshire. It's only an hour. I've driven to Portsmouth, New Hampshire before. So how about the Red Sox? <laughs> and UNH is right next to Portsmouth. Really? Durham. Mm -hmm. Durr. <laughs> Isn't it like in the middle of nowhere? Yeah, but Portsmouth is cute. Ella got her boob tape. Spent nine dollars on, on double-sided boob tape. Cause this freaking scotch tape, I look at it, it's like six dollars, but it's out. Well, I got boob tape for days. <laughs> 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 need. I posted my story. Oh, just got that packet. Sorry. <laughs> oh my. Oh, the person next to us was watching us. Does she need some titty tape? <laughs> Uh, we went to this really good. I met so many people here. It was so nice meeting See, all of you. Level. But guys, we went to this really good coffee place called The Works. And the girl who was taking our order this morning, she was so cute. Hi. Um, but yeah, they have really good coffee. I got their hazelnut coffee and a <laughs> Why did you and it was so good. But yeah, I'm so cold. Where's my heated seat? We need some what's poppin'. We need some, can I play? Yeah. The music, like I'll do I music. I have coffee in my shoe. Guys, <laughs> look how big this cup is. Uh, I'm yawning as I say it. Yeah, it, like, it literally had sliding doors. Guys, I took the biggest nap of the century. Um, when I got home, I showered. And I just took a nap and I'm so, just like, sleepy still. I hate just like not. I got like a good amount of sleep last night, but I just not like, you know, like not feeling energized. Anyway, um, I am going to sit down right now and plan out the week that I have ahead of me. I have no clue what I'm doing this week, but like I have a sense that it's a busy week. So I also, I, Eat dinner. I mean, I've been sitting on TikTok for a while. Oh my god, I've been sitting on TikTok for so long. I ate dinner at like five. Like I literally ordered food at like five because I was just want. I couldn't wait any longer. Um. So I ate dinner so early, but yeah, I need to plan out my week and stuff with my planner and my video plan. I have a video planner. My hair's crazy. I have a separate thing for my videos that I use to plan and then I have like a daily planner but um, Before I do that I have to go grocery shopping since it's Sunday. I have zero food That's why I ordered Uber Eats for dinner and I'm gonna go through Kenzie Burke's 10 day reboot because I'm actually starting the reboot tomorrow um, And I 
need to go through and see what recipes I am going to make for the next three days. Because she said that when you go food shopping for the reboot, that you should plan ahead for the next three. So that's what I'm going to be doing right now. And I am going to sit down and figure out what I want to eat for. for my week and I'm gonna write it down and plan it out. So yeah, let's do that. I'm heading into Hogan's now to go to shop for the week. I just got back from Whole Foods and I just said Whole Foods so funny. Well, I didn't say it so funny. I just said it um, kind of the way that my friend Tyler would say it. He always is like, he always goes, he'll say things and be like, I don't know, like Whole Foods. And I don't know, he says it in some sort of way, but <laughs> sorry, he texts me. Um, yeah, anyway, I just got back from <coughs> Whole Foods. And I'm going to do a grocery haul. I'm planning on, I'm planning on, I'm planning for doing the 10 day, obviously I just talked about it like two, two seconds ago, but 10 day reboot, Kenzie Burks. I love her, I'm so excited. If you guys want me to talk about how the reboot made me feel in the end, let me know. Um, I could do, um, like we do during it, like a what I eat in day or something. I'm snacking on these two gems. They're chocolate chip gems instead of a big whole chocolate bar, which is so dangerous because I literally just ate half of the packet. So, moving into my groceries, I got three bags of. I'm clearly not well. I got three bags of stuff and it was around like 150 just cause I had to get stuff that I didn't have, like I was running out of and I just needed to, uh, I don't know, like I, I was low. I was very low on groceries. So got a big bag of organic mango chunks. Perfect for smoothies. I, that will last me for a very long time. I got a bag of pineapple chunks. They didn't have organic ones, so I just got normal, which will also last me a little while. I got frozen organic dark sweet cherries for some different recipes, organic wild berries, just blueberries. Um, more cherries. I love frozen cherries, if you don't know that about me. You probably don't, honestly. I don't think I've ever talked to you guys about it but i used to eat oatmeal with cherries a lot and dark cherries are just so good i got some baby lima beans i didn't know that edamame was called lima beans did anyone else know that or are these two different be i don't think it no this is an edamame but why is it called a lima bean anyway i got frozen lima beans because one of the recipes calls for edamame and i didn't want to get like I don't know. I don't know how you prepare edamame other than getting the beans frozen. I don't know. And then I got another thing of Who Chocolate, the bar, though, the salty one, because that one is so good. And then I got some, I have no clue what these are. They're not oranges, guys. I would, I mean, they are probably a type of orange, but I needed tangerines and they didn't have tangerines. But these were called like tangerines or something. Not tangerines. I literally don't know what they were. I think it's just a type of orange, but got four of them. And then I also got coconut water, organic coconut water, because the one that I get on Amazon is all out and it's very annoying because 
it comes in like individual little cartons for my smoothies but it's all out and normally it's only like $20 but I think they only have the full size for like 100 and I was like why so I didn't get it I got turmeric powder spicy brown mustard I got organic almond milk not milk milk um I like this stuff a lot it has very low ingredients and then I got some chipotle pepper I got some nori sushi nori I got these pastas for make when I make pesto because look at this pasta it's so fun and then I got my favorite tomato basil rayos okay next bag I got strawberries I got a lot I don't want to put any of this away right now and then I got bananas these are so green so I I don't know what I'm gonna do I guess I just won't have anything with a banana until they're not they're literally brown um spinach I was like what is this romaine And then I got some mint leaves, guys. I know I haven't gotten bags yet. I have to order, I have to ask Maggie which bags she uses. She probably will have them linked somewhere, but I don't have produce bags. And I don't wanna just sit my produce down into the cart because I don't know, I just feel like it's yucky. Obviously like you wash your produce before you eat it, but so I have to use the plastic bags. I'm so sorry, don't yell at me, but I got some mint. Sorry it's in a plastic bag. It bothers me too. I never get plastic bags. Um, I always try to like just bring my own bags and I just throw the stuff in my bags before I like I don't put it on anything, but whatever. Anyway, I got some mint. This smells so good. And then I also got some kale because they didn't have any fresh kale, so I got one in a bag. Some chopped kale which i never ever do i always buy a kale stock thing and then chop it myself um i got broccolini and i got this red lettuce it's like the not red lettuce but it's like the red romaine lettuce i like this personally for salads for salads i like to do the kale and that red romaine um next bag i have in here blueberries for the morning fruits i have blackberries for morning fruit and i have raspberries for my morning fruit and then i also have some organic mushrooms just ones that are already chopped up normally if i'm like doing my mushrooms that day if i'm cooking them that day i will buy like the whole mushroom and cut it up myself but um just for this moment that was just easier a little clove of garlic not little it was actually huge another thing of coconut water um and then i got two things of lemons because a lot of my recipes this week are calling for lemons, so I needed to get two bags, and plus I have lemon water every single morning. Um, I love putting lemon in my salad dressings. I like putting it, uh, we use it for pesto, all that type of stuff. And then I got two large, really big sweet potatoes, because I want to make sweet potato french fries, so yeah. I wish I had an air, pop air popper though air popper no an air fryer i wish i had one of those because that would be so much easier to make french fries but i don't have one so now i have to put all my groceries away and i don't really want to but um yeah another thing i wanted to talk about really quickly is for a while i i've been trying to do this lately and i've been talking to you guys about it a lot recently but i wanted to get back into doing my as i talked to you about this guys i'm sorry my like 
I have the worst ADD and it just, my head is just like everywhere. And when I try to speak, it's so hard for me to speak because I'm thinking about a different thing that I'm even talking about. And then I've explained this before, but I get way too caught up in my head. And then I'm like thinking one thing, but then my mind's going the other way. And then my mouth is moving at 90 miles per hour, what it feels like, even though it might not be. And, there's just so much in my head. I am just crazy. So there, I said it. <laughs> um, what was I saying now? Oh, I wanted to talk to you guys about it, about this really quickly. I have talked to you about it in the past, but mostly like at the beginning of this year when I was talking about how I want my channel to be this year and I wanted to be really real with you guys and start showing you more of me. Not that I've never been real with you guys. And not that I've never like not showed you my true self, but I feel like once I moved to Boston, I really stopped showing you my genuine like true self and doing things that I love to do and like showing you as the content that I love to show just because I, I don't know, like I was going through a lot of change and it's hard for someone my age when you're 18 years old to be going through the changes that I'm going through and having such a like large platform of a bunch of people watching because that's, it's so, like I'm trying to adjust to it and it's so hard for me to adjust, adjust to it, especially with the things that go on in my life already that like are off camera. It's just a lot of pressure. Um, so like I'm trying my best. <laughs> And I just want you guys to like hang in there with me and really um, like respect it and respect that obviously like not everything's perfect. Not everything I do or say is going to be perfect. Not every single one of my videos is going to be perfect. Like it's not, no one's perfect. So yeah, I don't know. I just want to talk about that and like I... For a while i stopped showing you guys like my workouts because people i mean like i understand this part of oh, people were like you um are doing this wrong or something which like i so was like last year when i didn't really know what i was doing but after having gone through so many different workout classes and like really learning things about like like making sure your like posture is like a right way or something and having a trainer over the summer really helped um, for like workouts and stuff that made me like, I don't know, I stopped showing you guys workouts because I would get comments about me not doing it right. So I just wouldn't do it anymore. But like that's something I'm really passionate about and something I really love is like workouts and showing you guys what I do for workouts and I get so many questions on that. And another question that I get a lot is what I eat. And food on YouTube or on any social media platform is such a sensitive subject and i'm so confused as to why it's so sensitive and like it's triggering for a lot of people and i mean like i understand like it's why it can be triggering or something but also like i show you guys what i eat and i'm not telling you like oh you need to eat this way or oh you have to like eat a certain amount of this or a certain amount of that or veggies every single day or fruit in the morning like i'm not telling you to do that i'm just showing you what i personally do and what works for me and that's it that's literally all like it what's it's what works for me and it's for me and like you guys can take some of the stuff that i do and talk about for um like you guys can use it for like ideas of like what you want to eat or something like that but I think that sometimes people look at it as like, I don't know, like a lot over the summer people like, Emma has an eating disorder. She has disordered eating. She has this sort of thing where she's like obsessed with food. Like, I mean like, yeah, I'm obsessed with food. Like I freaking love food. I eat food 24 seven, but like, as in like saying like, I'm obsessed and like, I don't eat certain things. Cause like, it's bad for you like you know i'm scared of it or like something like weird i don't know and that's not the case at all i don't have an eating disorder trust me i don't i had an issue when i was a freshman in high school and i'm gonna tell you guys that but 
yeah, anyway, I don't have an eating disorder and I'm gonna start talking about my food a lot more. So if it's triggering or anything to you, just please don't watch the video. I just used an orange to open this, whatever that is. I don't know what it is. Um, but yeah, if, I don't know, just take everything with a grain of salt. And if you enjoy watching my videos, thank you so much for being one of my biggest supporters and like truly enjoying my content and what I put out there for like who I am and not just, you know, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm trying to say, but I hope that like made some sense. Anyway, I should go because you guys are probably so sick of hearing me talk. Any, any who. Um, yeah. I just took all of the things off of my spices so I didn't have to do that when I go to use them. Thinking ahead. Okay, now I have to put this all away. Guys, do you hear my dishwasher in the background? It is making the weirdest noise ever. I'm so confused. Um, I'm so sorry about it. Anyway, I am here to end off my video. I forgot to end off the video clearly. Um, that's why I'm here. But yeah, I just had a really fun weekend with my friends and I wanted to bring you guys along with me. But like, oh, I always do this. I'm always like, oh, like I'm going to bring you guys along with me when I'm hanging out with my friends. But then I hang out with my friends and I just live in the moment and I never like think to show those moments and I don't want to like make anyone uncomfortable because not a lot of people obviously want to be like on the internet unlike me like I love just like showing stuff but um yeah so I'm sorry that it was kind of boring but I did have fun my friend Ella and I visited some of our friends who uh, go to UNH from our high school and it was just a good weekend we like hung out and stuff and yeah so I tried to show you guys a little bit of it. Um, I'm so glad I got to meet some of you while I was there. The ones that I met, it was so nice meeting you guys. And I don't know, when I meet you guys in person, it's just so great because it puts a face to the number. Like, I just see a number on my computer and I don't really think anything of it. But then once I, like, when someone, like, comes up to me and they're like, oh my god, Emma, like, I watch your videos, like, Set and like saying things and being like you make my day it just like makes me so happy and it makes me just very thankful and I'm just so grateful that I have you guys and I don't know I just love it so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you guys liked it I'm sorry if it's a little bit boring I know I'm trying my best to change up my videos but I'm gonna go because my dishwasher is so annoying and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys